EFG Science TV, The Wave Hunters. Do Einstein's gravitational waves rock the universe? In Henning and Alexander's experiment, cleanliness plays a major role. Each tiny bit of dirt, each minuscule fleck of dust affects the laser beam. That's why cleanliness has top priority here. Just as a clean window pane allows more light to enter a room, and just as Alexander needs to clean his safety glasses in order to better see through them, it's essential that the many optical components used in an experiment be absolutely clean. Otherwise, the laser beam would be impossible to control. Therefore, Alexander is cleaning the lenses today in the clean room for their work with squeezed light. There's still some dust on the lens, here and there. So, first, we blow off the large pieces of dust from the optics. To ensure that no dust makes its way into the clean room, the scientists wear a gown, shoes, hood, face mask and gloves. This prevents dust from falling from clothing onto the test equipment. Even the air for this room is also specially filtered. The optics are now cleaned with a cloth and alcohol. This is also special cleaning paper that is very soft and can't scratch the surface of the lens, of the mirror. You simply wipe it over the surface. In the large GEO 600 gravitational wave detector, the entire structure is actually fitted in vacuum tanks. That means it's even cleaner there than in the laboratory. Even the arms of the interferometer are enclosed in 600 meter long vacuum tubes. In the next step, we apply drops of this fluid to the surface. This is a polymer. We spread this over the surface and then place a thread in it. Now we need to wait 24 hours until the film has dried and we can pull it off. Zusammen mit the dirt is pulled off film together with the dried the film, film leaving the optics, the optics clean. Is sauber. So, jetzt wir das Ganze noch mal. Now we darken everything again and check to make sure that the lens is really perfectly clean. After I've so carefully cleaned this lens, we can mount it, check it for proper position and then continue with the next lens. When the laser beam passes through a lens, the diameter of the beam changes. To ensure that the laser has a specific diameter when it is in the crystal used to generate the green light, the position of the lenses must first be precisely calculated. You can see that if we move this lens slightly forward and backward, the beam changes a great deal. On the right side, you can see how it first becomes larger and then smaller. For perfect interaction of the 100 plus lenses and optics, each position must first be precisely calculated. After all, the experiment is custom made for GEO 600. Of course, all of the components need to be cleaned. Once all of the optics have been installed, Henning and Alexander will work on optimizing the structure. Next time, learn what role squeezed light can play with carrots and music. Visit DFG Science TV for more information. Awaken the researcher within you.